Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to simplify a nested fraction. Here we have y minus 2y minus, minus 7 over 7 over 35 over 21 plus 7 over 3y. So the trick with a complicated thing like this is do it a little bit at a time. Little bits at a time. So first of all, the 7. Um, this is kind of obnoxious to have a fraction in a fraction. We'll multiply the top fraction here all of this by 7 and all of this by 7. And that'll, that'll simplify things out. We'll, the 7 over 7 will cancel out. We'll get a 7 times y, which gives us 7y minus 2y minus 7 over, make sure we can see ourselves. Okay, 7 down here. 21, that's 3 times 7. So we can 7 on top, 7 on bottom, so, which is, no, it cancels out. So we have 35 over 3. Remember we had 7 here and 7 here, so it canceled out. Plus 7 times 7, 7 on top, 7 on top. We have 7 squared, that's 49, over 3y. Okay, it's more simple than it was. Let's uh, take it a step further. Uh, 7y, 2y. Okay, we now have, let's rewrite that as 5y. I'm sure I can read it where you guys need to see it. 5y minus 7 over 30, 35, 3. Okay, we need to simplify it further though. We still have these fractions in the bottom and that's just kind of obnoxious. Who wants to deal with that? So, fresh sheet of paper. Do not be afraid to use fresh sheets of paper. You keep your, your, your work simple and clear. It will pay dividends. It will make your work much easier. Okay, so we have, right here, uh, on top we have 5y minus 7. Um, what are we going to do here to simplify? Let me back up just a second. We need to simplify, so let's multiply 3y on top and on bottom. That'll simplify the bottom down here. So on top we'll have 3y times 5y minus 7. Oh, you can't have to be able to see it. Okay. And on the bottom here we'll have, huh, let's see, uh, 3y times 35 over 3. 3 will cancel out. We're left with 35y. Um, 3y times 49 over 3y. Okay, well, that's the 3y's will cancel out. We're left with 49. Okay, nice. This is a much simpler fraction. Um, question, let's see. Can we factor anything down here? Because in general, you want to make sure you factor everything. You're going to you might miss something. Okay, so let's see, we can factor out a 7 out of both these terms. That would give us, well, let's see, 3y over 7, 5y minus 7 over, oh, look at that. We have a 5y over 7 over 5y over 7. Those two will cancel out. We're left with 3y over 7 as our final answer.